But first, have a look at this. All those visual effects were produced on... The Amiga? With the help of a toaster. Nah, not that kind of toaster. This kind of toaster. It's a special bit of hardware that's a cheaper version of the special effects equipment that we use to do this. Hey, that's enough of that. It was launched seven years ago as an add-on for the Amiga. It took the film and TV visual effects departments by storm. Programs such as Babylon 5, The X-Files and Sequest DSV couldn't have been made without the use of the toaster. Now, for the first time, you can buy the software and run it on your home Amiga without the extra hardware. It's called Lightwave 3D and it produces some pretty spectacular special effects. If you're a Babylon 5 fan, you'll recognise that, of course, as the Volon spaceship. How does it work? Well, I shall show you. It's a bit like making a movie, really. Now, the first thing you need to make a film is your artiste, in this case, the Volon spaceship. Um, then you've got to start by positioning your lights. And we can move the light in three dimensions. We can just move it up and over to the left and the reason by the way that the Volon spaceship suddenly became a bounding box is because it's much easier for the computer to show me positions position of lights very important then as is the position of your camera now there's the camera on the right there's the object in the center and these yellow dotted lines represent the field of view of the camera so again I can move it around move it closer to my object or further away or take it above it flick back to look through the camera. I'm still not entirely happy with that, so we'll move it, but this time we'll move it by looking through the viewfinder. So we'll bring that around to about, I think there should be my starting position. That's the lights and the camera in the right positions. Now, for the action. We have to tell the computer where we want our object to start. So we create what they call a keyframe, which is the beginning frame of our animation. Then we tell the system what we'd like to happen in the first 20 frames of our animation. And in those first 20 frames, I think the spaceship should go away from me and then sort of slightly over to the left. And that's the first 20 frames dealt with. And in the second 20 frames, we'll have the ship move up and possibly rotate on its axis. And then in the final 20 frames of the animation, bringing the total to 60, I'll get my object to shoot out of the left of the viewfinder. Right, and that's the computer busy thinking about how our animation will look in its wireframe version. It takes a couple of seconds to do that. And believe it or not, that's exactly how the animations for Babylon 5 were made, albeit with 30 Amigas strung end to end. Yeah, that's right, 30. So now let's run it. There we are. I completed. Babylon 5 Volon spaceship animation, but it still doesn't look terribly realistic, does it? So uh, we've got to add some texture to it. Okay, let's just start the final rendering. And through the magic of television, this is what the final animation looks like. Without the Amiga and this extra bit of hardware, they couldn't have made Babylon 5. So with the right kit, a good imagination, and a lot of patience, you can produce some amazing images that look almost real.